If you want the chance to win one of my Rocket League giveaways, do these following steps. The first step is to like my video and subscribe to my channel with post notifications on. And now you have to join the Discord with this link which is in the description down below. When you hit level 5 in my Discord server, you should see this screen. All you have to do is click the giveaway channel and then you have to click this emoji and join the Discord server link above. And now you should be entered in the giveaway. But don't forget to check out Alex Exchange. They sell Rocket League items for the cheapest price as possible and you can even sell your items to them. They are the most secure and the safest place to sell your items and buy items. So make sure you check them out in the description below. So make sure to use code AIM for a discount at checkout. But let's continue with today's video. Yo what's up guys, Amos here with another YouTube video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys all about cross-platform trading. If you don't know what it is, it's basically trading between platforms but it's a little different than that it's not actually trading it's a it's weird but i'll tell you how to do it what it is all the facts you actually need to know but just so you guys know before we start you might be watching but you do need an xbox or a ps you need two two consoles you need two different consoles you basically a pc and a, on the xbox or a pc and ps4 you just need two two consoles and then um you can do it but I find it works best with PC and PS4 because a lot of the prices are similar, but I'll, I'll look into that a little further on, but let's get into today's video. Make sure you guys, if you do want to do this, you need two platforms, but even if you don't have two platforms, make sure you stick around and watch the video because you can always do it in the future if, in case you ever get the second platform. But yeah, let's get into it. Alright guys, so cross-platform trading is basically when you transfer an item from one account to another console. You might be wondering how do you do this because there's actually, when I say cross-platform trading, there's actually no way to trade cross-platforms. Like, you can do it but you can't, so it's really weird. You can't have, you can't be in a trading lobby with a PS4 and an Xbox and trade. That's not how it works. You've got to have two consoles, as I said before. And you need to link your accounts. So once you've linked your accounts, this basically means you have all your items on both consoles. However, only some items are tradable. And I'll get into which ones are actually tradable. But you link your accounts and then you'll see all your items on the other um, platform which you, you linked it with. And uh, you'll notice some of the items you can trade and some of the items you can't trade. And it's very confusing. If you don't know, Rocket Pass, I, I'm pretty sure Rocket Pass credits, credits from the Rocket Pass actually can be traded. But... That is like a different story. We're not talking about that. We're talking about non-crate items. If you don't know what a non-crate item is, it's basically an item which is obtained without a crate. So basically, it was obtained for like a golden gift or like something like that or playing a game or something like that. It's not from a crate or anything like that. Golden gifts don't count as crates, by the way. None of the golden lanterns don't either. If it's from a crate, like the crates that existed before free to play. But there's not many things that are not non-crate. So... If an, a non-crate item is like non-crate very rares, if you don't know what non-crate very rare is, it's basically a very rare which was got by playing a game and then you can trade them up. If you can trade an item up, that means it's also non-crate. So you can trade it up with other non-crate items and you can basically trade it up for a wild tin if you get lucky. But we're not talking about trade ups, we're talking about non-crate items. So if you guys actually do want to do this, make sure you link both your accounts and then on the, your main platform which you have loads of credits on, you need to buy loads of these non-crate items. Some black markets are non-crate. Loads of like non-crate are all non-crate. Non-crate exotics, non-crate um, other stuff like that. RLCS items. If it's an RLCS item, it's non-crate. So all these like non-crate things. You need to buy loads of them on one platform. Also, Octane's are non-crate. Phoenix. Actually, no, not Phoenix. Only some Phoenix are non-crate, not all of them. You can see if someone's non-crate but ho hovering over it. And it shows if it's from a crate or not. But basically, if it's non-crate, you buy it. And then you can try like, go on your other account then you can sell all the items for credits so now this is like the part where it's actually making sense now let's get into the part where you you make profit from this so if you want to make profit on your main platform you need to buy an item you need to compare prices first of all compare prices like rlcs item for, for example like let's say a beta nugget all right so the beta nugget might be let, this is a, not real prices i'm just making this up but let's say the beta nugget is 10k on ps4 and you have a ps4 and then on Xbox it's 20k. Let's say that, yeah. So basically, you want to buy this beta nugget for 10k, all right, and then you want to transfer it to tw like for Xbox, which is 20k. So basically, from this, you're making 10k credits profit. But now you've got 20k credits, but it's on Xbox. You need to be able to get the credits from Xbox to PS4. So you've linked your accounts and you've got 20k credits on Xbox now after you sold the beta nugget. You need to buy loads of items which are the same price on both platforms. 
So, and I am like, of, an example is of this is like non create very rares. Non create very rares are basically the same on all platforms, except Xbox having like 10 or 20 credits higher. But you buy loads of these non create very rares, you trade them back to your main platform, and then you resell them. And then you've just got 20k worth of non create very rares on your PS4, which basically means you've made 10k credits profit from basically doing nothing. Like, this is the easiest way to trade, and I'm gonna start doing this because I'm getting my PS5 soon. I have an Xbox, I'm gonna start doing this. I also have a PC, so this is gonna be a really good way of making profit. And it's basically infinite credits if you think about it, you're getting loads of credits. And I do suggest doing this because you're basically making so much from just owning two pl platforms. And if you don't own two platforms, I'm sorry about that, you, you can't really do it. I mean, I'm pretty sure on Switch you can do it if you have a Switch, I'm not sure. But I don't really know how Switch prices are nowadays. But basically, uh, let me repeat it just one more time. You basically buy an item which is cheaper on one, like your main, on your main platform, you buy an item which costs more on a different platform. So, if, for example, as I said, Bayonet, let's say Bayonet gets 10k credits on PS4 and Xbox 20k. You buy it, you transfer it to Xbox, you sell it. And then you've got 20k on Xbox, you buy 20k worth of non create very rares, transfer it back to PS4, then you sell these 20k worth of non create very rares, and then you're making 10k credits profit. And the sad thing is, you can't cross platform trade credits, you can only do items. So you basically can do credits if you think about it. If you do like items which are worth credits, then you're basically doing credits, but you can't actually do credits themselves, only items which cost credits. So if you have credits, you can't just transfer them between platforms. That's why you gotta do the non-create very rare stuff or the non-create exotics or the non-create anything basically. But there is a lot of black markets which are non-create. So for example, Tidal Stream is 900 on PC and 1,200 on PS4 and Xbox. If you got a non-create Tidal Stream, you could just put that on a different platform, make 300 credits profit. It's pretty simple. And I don't get why no one's doing this. Like. I know some people are doing this and they're making thousands of credits every day and I'm going to start doing that to be honest because I, I want to make thousands of credits every day because that's actually insane. It's so easy to make profit doing this. It's like, why wouldn't you do this if you had both platforms? And again, I'm really sorry if you don't have both platforms. I don't know what to say. You can't really do it. But if you do have both platforms, congrats, man. You're going to have infinite credits after this. Like, that's insane. But that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy, tell me in the comments below. Also, make sure you like and subscribe with post notifications on. Use creator code AIMLESS in the item shop. And make sure you comment if you guys are going to start doing this. And if I explained it well enough. And if I should do like a part 2 or something. Or maybe I could show myself doing it. I don't know. But um, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you like and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.